Hey guys, you're welcome to my vlog. There's no escape, these thoughts in my mind A world full of wrongs, it feels so right Fight for tomorrow, the past is behind Take what you want and make off in the night Young and we're reckless, you eat what you sow Burned up both ends like the time that we sow Faster than lightning, we're on a roll Take me on a journey, get out of control Ooh, we're driving on the midnight train Going somewhere I can't explain Ooh, we're jumping on the midnight train Jumping on the midnight train But today I wanted to tell you how does it feel to be lonely for already more than two years I just looked at it and I just saw it yeah, yeah, I'm not ready, not ready to be lonely more than two years. You know, I have been to a relationship for more than 10 years and this relationship started like one by one. The first one started when I was 14 years old and the longest my relationships lasted uh, maybe for seven years. My cameraman, he's, he's looking weirdly at me. <laughs> Like, he's in shock of this information. And you know, so I live alone already more than... I live alone, a long, lonely life more than two years. And how does it feel, you know, honestly speaking, it's pretty awful and pretty awesome in different... <laughs> in different moments of life. And uh, I even can say right now what I, what I really want to start any relationship or to be alone and focus on work and career. You know, mostly in some moments I realized that to be alone it's so fucking cool. You can do what you want. You, you cannot consider other people things. You can decide where to go, how to relax, how to sleep, what to eat, when to eat and so on. And you know, even I can say that during some time you start to get used to this feeling like not to... Uh, not to ask opinion of other people who are near you and it feels very good but sometimes when I want to feel some warmth or close with other people some love, supportness or some kind feelings it's, this feeling really sucks and uh, you know I even cry sometimes sometimes, not sometimes <laughs> but nothing to do I feel that right now like I'm not ready for something serious or for marriage or for any long-term relationship so most likely that I will continue to live this to live life like this be alone because as I said before all my relations started like one by one seven years one year and some more years and uh, it's, it's just the first break right now in my life since 14 years when I'm alone for two years. I'm trying to enjoy this time, but sometimes I can handle. <laughs> so it's not so easy as it might, may, uh, might seem from the side. I hope that you enjoy this video and maybe right now you start to understand me a little bit better how I feel and uh, what really is going on in my life. If you like it, I'll be happy for your subscribe subscriptions, likes and comments under this video. Hey guys, this is second vlog from Sochi. You know right now it's almost the end of July and we are here because our borders are closed and only right now I feel like our country has so many good places to visit even if you can go anywhere in all over the world but you still can find some good places in Russia like Sochi, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, Altai, the Lake Baikal, Kamchatka and so on so on so on. Unfortunately in Russia we have such kind of mentality that people better go to Turkey like 10 times instead of travel uh, around our own country but at least right now people have uh, people have opportunity to explore our own country. 
I even can admit that I'm the same. I never been to many places in uh, in Russia, but Sochi right now it's my already fifth time here. And as you know, guys, in 2014 I have been here in Olympic Games as a volunteer and spent almost months. Uh, helping all sportsmen to spend their, to make their records, to win their prizes and so on and so on. And Sochi is some kind of uh, mm, place of memories or something special for me because because of this because of this memory memories memories fuck it <laughs> memories <laughs> when you can can speak English <laughs> a little bit so. If one time you want to come to Russia, must visit is first Moscow, of course, then Sochi, then and so on. But this is the second place you have. Mom, today sucked, I'm not feeling great. People all laughed and they call me names. Was it so tough and the world so lame? Can I have some cash and a ride down to the arcade? our log here from Sochi. You see this amazing view behind me. <laughs> you know, I think that maybe right now I already don't want to go to Switzerland. It's enough to be here and to watch, to enjoy these amazing picturesque places. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, they say that people should constantly overcome themselves to do some challenges, what things you're afraid to do, or to overcome your fears and different stuff. But, you know, I'm not sure this is really necessary to do, but in my case, <laughs> I have to overcome myself like constantly. Constantly. Right now, we were making, we were making, <laughs> we were making dancing videos here with a lot of people and I'm so much shy dancing in public and it's just real, real tough, difficult, hard thing to do for me. And to come here on this cable car is also overcoming some of my fears because you know I'm afraid of closed places like elevators and uh, cable cars is also <laughs> includes this stuff. And today I overcome two issues, two stuff, two my shit, you know. I did it, I did it, I did it! <sighs> you know, honestly, I can't say that I became, I have become braver or something like that. No, I will continue overcome and overcome like every fucking single day when I will have to dance in public or to go somewhere very high places. So, believe in me, do your likes, follow, subscriptions, it will help me to be more brave, stronger and so on. Thank you for watching! Months go by, the time it flies, past the days that we drink cool in the summertime. Years go by, the time it flies, past the days that we drink cool in the summertime.